Just like peanut butter goes with jelly, cold weather and football goes with chili. Scott Jones of Jack Southern Comfort Food is back in the Sub-Zero Wolf ki Bentwood kitchen. This time he's got a batch of beefy goodness going on. Hey, hey, I have hey, to hey. mention first that this cider that you made last is yes. amazing. You all need to download the recipe Thank ASAP you. and make it today. I hope you have all the ingredients you probably do because it's a super simple recipe. And well, you saw how quick it was, right? Oh, my gosh. It has just made me the happiest camper. But Thank now, you. look at this cast iron skillet of beauty nest. Oh, uh, well, what, be what goes better with chili than cornbread, Man. right? Oh, so, my yeah, 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 I need it for Oh, my goodness. Oh, you got God. You can box, have the Dr. So Pepper what? you want. <laughs> what? What? What's going on today? All right. So what we started with, I uh, started with two onions and some poblano peppers. Okay. I pureed them just because. Right. I want the chunks, I yeah. want it to be, you know, nice the same size as my meat. Gotcha. Okay, so I've just sauteed that with some um, Carrots olive and oil. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some garlic going in there. You have to have some garlic. I like these big right. pots you have. Thank That's you. Awesome. All right, Donovan, you yes. got to hand me my spices there. All righty. Okay, I've got my little spice mix here. And what we have is we have chili powder, cumin, coriander, mm -hmm. thyme, and Mexican oregano. Okay. Oh, nice. And I like to toast the spices. There you go. All right. Handy dandy How do you system do that? there. Just like this. You put it in there with the uh, with the vegetables and kind of saute it for about four to five minutes. Mm -hmm. So where you know it just it helps bring out oh, all the oils and you smell can smell like it. Chili. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then another thing I like to do is I do like to uh, give my tomato paste some good color too. So I, I like to toast that with Thickness. the spices. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with giving it color. Right. Right. <laughs> Love me some color. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Don. Me too. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we're going to put him cracking me up. Are you sure you haven't had one of these oh, already? No, no. You, you, you wouldn't let me cider. take it. You wouldn't let me take it. <laughs> All right. A long time so ago. see how this is, uh, you know, incorporating and browning that tomato paste a little bit? This is you know, amazing. Okay. So then we're going to add our, uh, we have some diced tomatoes in a can. Diced. Which can of those? Okay. And then crushed. And you have it crushed. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between diced and crushed? <laughs> well, crushed One's is diced and one's crushed. Think, That's right. Yes. Is it? Okay. Yes. Just wondering. Yeah, it's that simple. You are. Yeah, you're, see, you're catching on. I, I'm pretty I handy swear, in the you kitchen. You are good. You need your own cooking show. <laughs> All right. So. And, Slide it up. Okay. So now my my bag of meat here. I. Uh, <laughs> I actually, man, I usually am oh, better prepared. Let's but, have some uh, more cider. You think okay. you have technical there we go. Hands, but he just got <laughs> a bag of meat. Man. Uh, I browned the ground beef and I drained the fat from it because I don't like all the fat, but I really want that beefy flavor. Yes. So it's a way to, you know, you can leave Goodness. the fat here if you want. You okay? got enough for a tailgating party yeah, over no, here. This is a lot of food. So my then we goodness. add my favorite part we add the beer. All right. Yes. Are you so, specific don't. on what kind? You know, I like a darker beer I with do this. Too. So Me just too. anything with flavor. <laughs> We're all about the color today. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna add. Yeah. Uh, and you got a little DP. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Does it matter? I, you you want to put some sweetness in there to balance out the acidity. So I'll just put tomatoes. my finger in that end. Exactly. Very. Give it some sweetness. There you go. All right. Like so instead of sugar, I like to add something with flavor and sugar. So we add so our we can Dr. Use a Coke. Our Dr. Pepper. No, honey. This is Texas. Okay. Well, Dr. I'm Pepper. just saying. Sometimes. Double, That's right. Double Sometimes they gotta have that. a Coke. Okay? No, you can use Coke. I'm just kidding. I just like Dr. Pepper and the chili. It sounds more Texan. That's okay. right. Okay, and then you just really you just cook this for about an hour or two hours, and you know mm. you, you can add water to it Beautiful. just to keep it simmering. And you want to taste? Awesome. It's so good. Yes. Yes. That I want to make All this right. today spoon. with the kids. Let me get you a spoon there, Amy. And how, how, how that cornbread get involved? Yeah. Well, we're gonna dig into that in a minute. Oh, is so that a different recipe? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, I just brought it because it goes with chili. Happy, you. happy dance. Yeah. Thank you. Man, that's <laughs> good. Isn't that good. awesome? Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful combination. I can taste Thank the you. crushed tomatoes. Can you? Can you taste <laughs> the color? I can taste the shiner. Yes, yeah. can I taste the color? Color, okay, it's I, good. I can taste the shiner and the DP in there. Thank you so much, Scott. <laughs> Scott's been nice enough to give us this chili recipe. If you'd like to go, get your hands on it today. All you have to do is visit <laughs> our website, thebroadcasttv.com, and then click on today's links. We're checking out some great shows at the House of Blues next. Y'all stay tuned. All right, I want to bowl a bit. Yeah.